Hey, how's it going you guys? My name is Demise, and in this video we have a couple of really awesome new spoilers to talk about in regards to the Terraria 1.3 update. So first of all, they have reached the 3000 item mark, which is about 250 more than what we are at in the latest PC version, which is the 1.2.4.1 version. So that kind of gives an emphasis on previous statements that 1.3 is not going to just be about some inflated number of new items, but rather the quality or game progression that these items will actually bring. Since in the past we had huge amounts of new items added, but they were really just about how many new furniture items were added for each new biome. And as we have done in the past celebrating certain item numbers such as the 1000th item being added to Terraria being the confetti, we have the reveal of what the 3000th item is and that is an actual full-fledged alchemy table. So this is really cool as in the past we simply had a bottle or vase placed on a workbench to serve as an alchemy station, but now we have an actual expanded and more complex alchemy table that will hopefully also indicate new and better potions being added to give us just a bit more options to choose from. And also of course we have the awesome new cultist robes on what looks like a normal player which was revealed after the initial gif with them worshipping the Cthulhu like idol that it was going to be added as a vanity so yeah here we have it. And the second bit of news is the reveal of what Red has been working on now that he's back to programming on Terraria and that is the new game mode called Expert Mode which basically makes the game a bit more difficult with new AI for both monsters and bosses as well as other changes to make the game just a bit more harder. Now I believe that this will actually be a selection for you to make when you create your character or map and not really like hard mode as hard mode is really just the second half of the game or now after the 1.2 update the bigger half of the game but it could of course just be like hard mode where after your full game progression of defeating whatever new lunar boss or event that gets added you'll enter expert mode. So I'm kind of hoping that this is not just going to be some stat buff for all the enemies, which it doesn't seem like at the moment with the mention of the new AI being designed, which is what I think a lot of people would prefer, and also hoping that it can be doable solo and not force people to play multiplayer since it's much better to give people options than completely restricting this mode to like 3 or 4 more people at least to be playing. There's also a specific mention of the release date and why there isn't one just yet and Senex has mentioned this here and there on the forums but here it is up front in a blog post stating that it'll be released when it's done so that the dev team will take their time and make the best update possible without as much stress otherwise. As if you recall for the 1.2 update which was pushed back at least once or twice from even its targeted release window so they have learned from previous mistakes and won't even set a release date until they are actually completely certain that they can meet it. And there was also a quick mention about beta testing, but it seems like they got all that they need, so if you didn't already get contacted after applying, then you probably won't get it. So that's all for this video, but make sure to let me know what you guys think about the relatively low amount of new items in exchange for more meaningful content, as well as the new expert mode, and also their new approach for release dates down in the comments below. So yeah, as always, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, and subscribe for more videos, and yeah, have a nice day.